19, I'm 10, 8. I think we found our party. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hi. I've been with PT Cab for about four and a half years. I moved back here. I started driving cab a week after I got here. And it'll be five years in July. It's, um, it, it's always an experience. You know, lots of different stories, lots of different people. It's fun. I like to drive, so it's perfect. I don't drive during the day, so I don't have to deal with the real serious, in a hurry, gotta go type of people all day long. I do all, I do the evening thing. Mostly the night people are fun people. When you drive up to a party in the evening or even outside one of the bars, you know, on a busy weekend, you stop and you have a hundred different people that have called a cab, but once you pull up to a certain area and the car stops, they're all trying to get in, so you're trying to pull some out on this side and others are getting on and on the other side because you can only put five people in a cab. People take cabs for all sorts of reasons. They take them because they don't drive. They, uh, some people don't have vehicles. Some people can't afford vehicles. Last week we almost had a baby in the back seat, yeah. We got the call, and she's a regular customer, and uh, she went into labor. Her water broke, and she couldn't afford to go by ambulance, so she called the cab. We made it there. She made it. My father was a cab driver all his life, and we were raised with him driving a cab, you know. That's what gave my sister the idea of having her own cab company and I moved back here to help her with family stuff and ended up driving a cab. I had to learn all the streets, all the roads, because most of the streets and roads I didn't know even when I lived here. Right after I came back here, my sister had a heart attack. She was pretty stressed out from everything. Of course, she, she didn't know at the time that she was sick. Neither did I until after about a week after I got here. <laughs> if you wanted a vacation, that's all you had to do was say so. You didn't have to have a heart attack. No, when she came to me, she, I, I, I would never dream that she would have driven a cab. But she has done well. Just be nice to people. Be nice to her in return. We work well together. We live really well together. She's been great. She's my, she's my right hand man out there. I hate her. <laughs> I have a little sister. Her name is Lottie Ann, and she's Down syndrome. And Joanne and I take care of her. And she's the, she's what we do every day. What goes on in the cab always stays in the cab. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I remember several different girls that used to ride with me sometimes, like I'd do a few calls and she wasn't ready to quite go home, we just wanted to talk. You know, and she would ride with me and do a couple fairs and then I would take her to campus. It's kind of like a, a motherly thing, I think more than anything. They tell you their problems. Sometimes you'll get a wife in and sometimes she'll tell you her problems. Sometimes I'll ask you what you think. And you say, you really want to know? <laughs> and if they do, I tell them. I say, well, if this was me, you know, but I'm not telling you what to do or how you should handle this because, you know, that's not what we're all about. We just let them talk and let them, let them get it off their chest. I don't know, you know, after four... Four years of, you know, being a cab driver, you hear good stories, happy stories, sad stories. 
but most of it is a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Debbie and I work for PTCAP. I never thought in a million years that I would ever be a cab driver. <laughs>